hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix darkest dungeon 2 is crashing at startup it is not launching freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even black screen issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app so let's dive into this so if you're for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos let me move to the workaround directly. The first one is start with a simple restart. Sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So I request you can start with a simple restart. For that, just go over here in the start, click on this icon, go for restart. And once restart is done, try play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Move to the next one. That is all about, we need to launch the game first one is launch the game from the installation folder for that we just need to click over here right click and go to the properties so go to local file this is actually a shortcut click on the browse so we are very easily redirected to this so now launch the game from here instead of launching the game from steam try launching the game from the installation folder that did work out for few users as well next one we need to verify integrity of game file for that, just click over here, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And this is what we have to do. So verify integrity of game file. Actually, as you can see, 913 file successfully validated. So you can try this out. So this is what we have to do. So these are the possible things which you have tried out as a basic step. And even if the issue is still persisting, we can move to the next one. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator. For that, we just need to go over here, right click and go to properties. Like I said, go to local file, navigate to the browse. This is actually a shortcut from this T. But apart from this, we can also go to the same installation folder using uh, file explorer so which i'll show you right now so go to this pc now from here go to local disk c now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we need to find this one that is the name of game that is darkest dungeon 2 now from here launch this one so right now the step is we need to run it as an administrator so just move either in the file explorer way or use the shortcut from the steam then navigate to this right click and go to show more options go to properties and go to compatibility over here as you can see click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game for few users this did work at so even if it's still not working we can move to one more step that is called run the game in the compatibility mode for that just right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here over here as you can see there is a compatibility mode just click on this one now once you click on this one we have two options either change it to windows 7 now go for windows 7 go for apply and go for ok or change it to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok try with windows 7 or 8 any one of these things can be done so once you this uh, done this one just close this close everything and go back and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one we need to change the language of windows i don't know how this is related but this did work it for that just go over here in the search now go to settings now from here go to windows update now sorry not here go to time and language now go for date and time now from here set time zone automatically and over here just turn this on make sure this is turned it on if this is turned off you have to make sure this turn it on once after that go back and go to language and region make sure the preferred language is english this is very important so select this one and set the language or click on add language and search for the english language if you're using any native language like japanese Chinese, Arabic, German, etc. So change the language to English. This did work it. So once after that, just close everything. Go back and try to play the game. Next one, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard. So just click on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work it for few users and you can try this out as well. So once after that, 
most probably the issue has to be fixed and this is what we have to try out as well next one we need to delete it the saved game files for that just click over here now we need for that we just need to go over here go to the file explorer now go to this pc go to documents now from here we need to find the folder of the game that is darkest dungeon 2 so here the folder is not there but you will be definitely having the folder once auto save is enabled once you find the folder just delete it and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once after that try to play the game as well moving to the next one is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that just go over here in the search go to control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we just need to keep scroll down and from here we need to find the game so hence it is an alphabet just navigate to d hence it is starting with d that is darkest so it start with d so over here we will be able to find this one so over here you will be able to find the darkest dungeon 2 over here you can see the darkest dungeon 2 is already added and parallelly make sure the private and public should be enabled once if it's not there just click on allow another app we need to add it manually which i'll show you click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here go to darkest dungeon 2 select this one go for open and add it so once it's already added because i'm getting the error because it's already added once you added successfully just close everything go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices and this did work out for many users so some of you guys might be playing the game with the controllers if that is the case just remove everything but if the controllers is there any additional joystick if any logitech wheels are connected remove everything from the usb port once after that try launching the game once the game is successfully launched and even if still you wanted to play the game with this one try connecting back the controller and try play after game is successfully launched this did work out for many users and you can try this out as well moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services and over here go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all apply and okay you, it might ask you for restart some cases and if the restart is being asked just go for restart as well once after that we have to go to the next one that is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here right click and go to the properties now over here as you can see this should be unchecked which means this is disabled and once after that you have to try to play the game as well and also once you're done with this one try playing the game if that is not working go with the launch options over here so we have to give the commands that is dx11 give the first command dx11 if dx11 is not working change the command to dx12 try with either with dx11 or dx12 any one of the commands will be definitely working and once you're done with this one try launch the game as well moving to the next one is all about once you're done with this one we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to close all the overlay applications which is one of the main reason why this is happening for that just go over here in the task manager right click over here and go to task manager now over here as you can see there are around 16 apps which is running in the background which all these are causing the issue for crashing so the question is we need to filter something which is causing the issue so as you can see the discord is comes under the category of overlay application which is one of the reason but this is not a big deal but if you find anything like riva tuner msi afterburner etc which is coming under the category of overclocking applications which is one of the main reason for these kind of crashings so you have to remove both the thing for so if you find the discord just remove it i mean end the task and if you find anything over here which like i mentioned riva tuner msi afterburner any other thing just remove it as well and once after that try to play the game and the stream work it for many users as well moving to the next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search go for graphics settings now over here you will be able to find the game so it's not added so we need to add it manually just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps go to common now select the darkest dungeon select this one and go for add so right now the game is added just go for options and make sure this should be changed to high performance and go for save 
close this and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, just go over here in the search. We need to go for view, advanced system setting, go for advanced setting once again, advanced once again, go for change. Now from here, go for custom size. There are two options, initial size as well as maximum size. So initial size should be uh, 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. Now go over here in the search. Now go for, we need a calculator to do the calculation. So here I have to multiply my RAM. My RAM is 32 GB. So I have to multiply my RAM with 1024. That is a constant value. Just multiply your RAM with 1024. That brings you 32,768. So multiply this with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. So just paste it over here. Move to the maximum size. Do the same over here. What you need to do? Multiply 32 GB. That is my RAM into 1024. But multiply it with 3 because maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just copy the copy paste the value. Just paste it over here. Go for OK. And once after that, try to play the game. This is what you have to do. Move on to the next one is all about. We need to go over here in the search. Now we need to update the windows. Go for settings. Go to windows update at the bottom left. Make sure windows is up to date. And if you're getting any update, just update the windows. Once after that, try to play the game. And last and least one, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. If you are an NVIDIA user, just go to this page and select every details over here and go for start search which will give you the latest outdated versions over here, which is available. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see 531.79 is in a latest version, which is released on May 2, 2023. So just download this one, install it on your PC, restart your PC as well as and try to play the game. If you're an AMD user, just go over here in the graphics, select every details and go for submit. Once after that, you will be getting the options for both Windows 11 as well as for uh, Windows 10. So if you find any options for Windows 11, just download it. So if you find the options for Windows 11, uh, 10 as well as download it as it is. And once after that, install it on your PC, restart the PC as well and try to play the game. And once you're done with this one and still you're having the error, we have two final method. The one is installing the Microsoft Visual C++, which I'll be providing in the descriptions. And once you click on this, you'll be landing on this page. So just download this one and install this on your PC and that is going to work for you as well. Even after installing, updating, everything is done and still you are having the issue. The issue might be regarding you need to change the location of the game. For that, just we need to uninstall the game first. So just go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. Once you're done with this one, go over here in the file explorer and make sure, hence I'm having only one local disk. So even if I reinstall it back, it will be on the same local disk. So change the position of local disk. So if you're having multiple disks, try with any other disk. And once after that, try to play the game. Most probably these possible workarounds will be working out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.